Hello people and welcome back. So as you can see I did do some off-camera work right here. Uh, for starters we've moved some of these orange trees back here for easier access. Uh, I found as many Valkyrie grass sprouts as I could and just planted them back here. Uh, we added this nice fence area to try and keep uh, the area lit up and uh, pretty well maintained. Uh, these are some blueberry bushes that, thanks to our arcanium shears, we were able to get, and we've expanded our brettle cane farm. Now, uh, I've used the golden lasso to round us up a few different kinds of farmable animals. So, these are the burakai. Uh, these are the cloud sheep. Yeah, I'm, yeah the burakai is actually one of the most powerful uh, neutral mobs that it is that there is because he could easily kill me if I provoke him so I'm going to have to be very careful with how I deal with Budokai and uh, these are the Tagor now the Tagor are very useful for making their own type of armor with their uh, plates of armor on their body they're actually quite heavily armored. However, uh, as many of you will probably tell, they are quite safe to be around. And let's get some more cloud wool here. Uh, okay, let's get some more cloud wool. I don't... Wait, where the hell did we get the burst bo blossom from? We don't need any burst blossom. Okay. So, now. So, many of you may be asking yourself, so why is it that uh, you are getting all these different um, vegetables. Well, brettle cane just so happens to be the favorite food of the Budokai. Yeah, and I believe they're about to make a baby Budokai. Don't. Oh yeah, see? They made another fully grown Burakai. So that, that is one downside. They, they actually don't have, you know, juvenile stages to these animals just yet. Now, I believe in order to breed the cloud sheep, we have to use, um, let's see here, where are they? Ah, the Valkyrie wings. Valkyrie wings are the food of choice of the Aether sheep. There we go. Yep. See? We have an Aether sheep baby now. Which, oddly enough, its head is freakishly big. Now, uh, there is one other type of food that the Tagor need, but it is actually much harder to get a hold of and cannot be farmed. However, they do spawn freely, so it's not as though it's very difficult to uh, get. Okay, you know, we're just going to need to use the axe to kill these. Um, they are called carrion sprouts. They don't usually stay close to one another, and uh, typically speaking, they are completely and totally passive. They mostly eat dead shit. As in, like, if something dies, they um, kind of act like vultures, except they grow out of the ground instead of flying in from above. And they freely respawn, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, they're going to be our bottleneck. Because the wind berries that they produce uh, are the only foods that uh, the Tagore can actually breed with. the Tagore. Yeah. So we have three kinds of 
either animals here that we can use to our advantage. The Budokai, the uh, Tagore, and the um, Cloud Sheep. Yeah, and it seems that their foods are all growing back very nicely. Now, there, are, there is the Air Bunny that um, will breed if you give it blueberries, which is why we got the blueberry bush. However, he doesn't really produce a whole lot of useful um, drops, so I'm, I'm kind of just going to leave him out of this for now. So we have the Xanite Shield. Let's put away all this shit. Okay, so, what should we make next? I'm sure that there's some kind of thing we can do. Hmm. Hellfire Stone. Hmm. No, apparently not. No crafting recipe. But I do know that there's a gravitite shield. Shifts gravity on blocks. Hmm. That's, that's highly unusual, but okay. Hmm. Yeah, here's the Tagor hide stuff. Yeah. Let's see here. Ooh, Tagor leg. Roast Tagor. Murakai ribs. Kirids. Ah, yes, the Aether sheep are called Kirids. Now, we could get Moas for their eggs, but let's not do that. Hmm. What should we make? Oh, Skyroot bed. That's right, we haven't made a bed yet. Where did we put that? Cloud wool. We'll just have to go find ourselves a third kitted to shear. Shouldn't be too hard. There's bound to be one extra around here somewhere. Though I was kind of hasty about... Ah, there's one. Must have respawned, actually. This is awfully close. Okay, so we have that, and we have the... Uh... I need to tear down this tree after that dragon destroyed it. Fuck. Yeah, we need to we need to start developing some big crazy ass weapons to kill those dragons before they can cause a whole bunch of havoc. Cause all they do is just burn everything down and kill all the animals in the area, and it really just ruins everything. Yeah. And now we have a skyroot bed, which is good. So we can use that to sleep till morning if we want. Uh, let's see, what else can we do here? Um, what's a shard of life? No, we don't ha got a recipe for that. Um, hmm. Holy stone. What's sentry stone? No, I guess we can't figure out what that is just yet. Uh, ooh, wait. Quick soil gr glass. Ooh, we can make some windows. That'll be nice, yeah. Scatter glass. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Yeah, yeah, okay. We have bookshelf, skyroot chest, masonry bench. Hmm. Let's see here. Arcanium, holy stone, and arcanium plates. Well, I don't really know what the masonry bench is. The outpost campfire, great root plants, sky root planks. Uh, actually, you know, let's make an altar. Yeah, we we have everything to make this. I don't know how to work it, but we can certainly figure out. Xanite. Oh wait, we need a third arcanium and some holy stone. Uh, yep, we have the arcanium. Okay, yeah. So two arcanium. Xanite, holy stone, and boom, we have an altar. Uh, let's also make that um, 
Mace and Revenge. Yeah. And we can also see about making, uh... Wait, what's this? Ice Stone Cooler. Ooh, we should make that too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mace and Revenge. Okay, so this just uses Holy Stone, Embrasia, and Skyroot. Yeah, so here, let's... Some of that. Let's get some of that. We need more Skyrim. There's our Sky. Ah, there's Skyrim. Yeah, but it was a lot of work making all those fences, though. Yeah, real pain in the ass. Uh, wait. N no. Uh, what, what? What was it? Holy stone. Oh, an ambrosium chunk. Oh, okay. There's a difference. Right. Uh, let me just move all of this out of the way. Yeah, apparently we have to use Ambrosium Chunks. It's basically just like blocks of coal, except less expensive. Or more expensive, considering the amount of effort we had to go to get in here. Okay, and then we have Ice Stone. Three pieces of Arcanium. E And now we have the cooler. Okay. So let's let's put all these interesting new gadgets down. See what the fuck they're used for. <laughs> Simply because I've never had the pleasure of going into the Aether mod like this. So, uh, I know what the incubator is. It, it, it heats up and raises MOAs. Um, the Ice Stone Cooler, I guess, uses... No? I guess it uses Ambrosium. Uh, well, well, we'll figure something out with that. Uh, then there's the altar, which I'm not entirely sure what it does. I think it may act as the enchanting table, but uh, we don't have anything that can be enchanted. Hmm. May be broken currently. Okay, and the masonry bench. Ooh, now the masonry bench seems to have quite a lot of uh, different um, things that can be done with it. I've never actually used this before, so this is very exciting. And again, I suppose masonry would require some kind of stone, really. Well, apparently I'm just not smart enough to use it right now. I just, uh, well, that sucks. Hmm. Okay, so I'll end the episode for here and do a little research on all these. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll get back to that as soon as uh, as soon as I can figure out how this shit works. <laughs> okay, see y'all next time. Bye.